Celebrating Africa's rich cultural heritage. Residents of Oshun, particularly Oshobo, the state capital, has overwhelmed with joy as the state government opened the newly constructed 2.7 billion naira, 625 meters or Laia flyover bridge in Oshobo. The state governor, Boyega Itola, alongside with cabinet members, party loyalists, market men and women, motorists and commuters troop out to test around the multi-million project immediately after the state government launched it. The state government flagged off the construction of Olaya flyover in Oshobo on February 18, 2021, aimed at a reduced traffic congested and lessen accident rates in the area, which he said it will be closed down for nine months. Some of the residents who speak with ABN News lamented hardship faced by them in the last one year, said it led to diversion of traffic and economic to alternative routes, and they believe there is no gain without paying. Speaking shortly after performed first ride on the flyover, the state governor, Boyega Oitola, said the project was completed without borrowing. The governor also appreciates the people of the state for their patience and perseverance. I want to enjoy the motorists to please observe all the necessary precautions to follow the signs. You know, they should not speed. And uh, I want to, you know, guarantee the fact that we're going to do proper maintenance of this bridge. It's just not a question of completion alone. The after construction period will see the maintenance of the bridge. The first overhead bridge in the state of Osho. It will advance the economy of Oshobo and the state in particular. People are excited and it will alleviate the traffic jam we usually experience at Olaya's junction. And this will promote business and also the economy of Oshun. While speaking, the State Commissioner for Works, Remy Omwai, admonished citizens to exercise caution and observe traffic rules while plying the roads. We have a lot of uh, traffic signs, and uh, part of what we have also done is to ensure that the um, Federal Road Safety Corps and the Office of Transportation people will be here for the next few weeks to ensure that people get uh, the, the right route in. Some of the residents who speak with ABN News commended the state government for adding beautiful faces to the state capital. They enjoy the state government to continue embarking on projects that will facilitate the social, economic and infrastructural development of the state. The project is embedded with a lot of aesthetics such as fountain, traffic light, security cameras, among others. Or quiet me, I can me. ABN TV News, Ocean State, Nigeria.